Kimberly Suckomill, a survivor of the Las Vegas shooting who guaranteed there were numerous shooters engaged with the shooting, has been discovered dead. She was 28. Suckomell was not harmed amid the shooting at the Route 91 music celebration, and passed on all of a sudden in the early hours of Monday at her Apple Valley home, as per her grandma, Julie Norton, who disclosed to Seacoast Online that Kimberly must have kicked the bucket eventually amid the four hours she was separated from everyone else in the house. Norton discovered Suckomell soon after 8.30 a.m. when she touched base to administer to her three-year-old extraordinary granddaughter. Succo Mel's significant other Mike had left for work before that morning at 4.30 a.m. Days after the shooting, Kimberly Succo Mel disclosed to the Victorville Daily Press how she and her companions got away with their lives as slugs poured down from all points on the 20,000 concertgoers on October 1. Kimberly Succo Mel, a survivor of the Las Vegas shooting who asserted there were various shooters engaged with the shooting, has been discovered dead. She was 28. Succo Mel was not harmed amid the shooting at the Route 91 music celebration, and kicked the bucket all of a sudden in the early hours of Monday at her Apple Valley home, as indicated by her grandma, Julie Norton, who disclosed to Seacoast Online that Kimberly must have passed on eventually amid the four hours she was distant from everyone else in the house. Norton discovered Succo Mel soon after 8.30 a.m. when she landed to look after her three-year-old extraordinary granddaughter. Succo Mel's significant other Mike had left for work before that morning at 4.30 a.m. Days after the shooting, Kimberly Succo Mel disclosed to the Victorville Daily Press how she and her companions got away with their lives as slugs poured down from all edges on the 20,000 concertgoers on October 1st. Clarifying that she called her better half and grandma to caution them she was in a shooting and won't not make it out alive, Succo Mel expressed the gunfire wasn't ceasing this entire time. It wasn't stopping. It wasn't backing off. Furthermore, it was straightforwardly behind us, tailing us. Shots were originating from each heading. Behind us, before us, to the side of us. Neighborhood Daily Paper Seacoast Online broke the news of Kimberly Succo Mel's sudden passing. Yet, I know, I simply know, that there was somebody pursuing us. The whole time I felt along these lines. The more remote we got from the scene, the nearer the gunfire got. I continued thinking back hoping to see the shooters and I say men on the grounds that there was more than one individual. There was more than one weapon discharging. 100% more than one. Kimberly Succo Mel's grandma affirmed that she was healthy. In spite of the fact that she experienced central epilepsy, it is comprehended that the condition is once in a while dangerous. The news comes days after Amandale Bay Valet, who stopped Stephen Paddock's auto when he checked in, has bafflingly vanished in the wake of giving a meeting to prevailing press in which he demanded the presumed shooter was a typical person and didn't have many pacts. Valet vanished. Chad Nishimura, a long-haul worker of Mandalay Bay, gave the meeting to Monai Colin Abero a correspondent for Hawaiian ABC offshoot, Kid 4 News. The article has now been erased from the Kid 4 News site after it seemed to conflict with the official account that solitary wolf shooter Paddock figured out how to pirate enough firearms for a little armed force into his lodging suite totally unnoticed by staff or security faculty observing the NCCTV. Kid 4 have so far declined to clarify why their article was all of a sudden scoured from their site or in the event that they were acting under outside requests. Security Monitor Vanished The news of Kimberly Succo Mel's sudden passing additionally comes as Fox News reports that legend security protect Jesus Campos vanished minutes previously he was expected to show up on Sean Hannity's program as a highlighted visitor. The system is at a misfortune to clarify Campos vanishing. Hannity did not say Jesus Campos or his no appear amid the program and reacted to questions on Twitter about what occurred by saying he scratched off, 